Hello and welcome to my channel. So in this video I'm going to do a reading for the Sagittarius personality for the month ahead of May. So looking at the general energies and um, themes coming up for you guys, um, looking at the breakthroughs, looking at things to look forward to and the guidance to navigate the energies. So I'm going to be using the Alistair Crowley Thoth deck for the main part of the reading. And I'm also going to use the Work Your Light deck by Rebecca Campbell. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Sorry, I just got hair everywhere. <laughs> ah, no, do you, you ever get that when you're just molting? Or is it just me? <laughs> okay, sorry, that was a bit gross, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, so looking at the main themes and energies for the month ahead of May for Sagittarius. Let's give it a good old shuffle. Ah, lovely. Fa one of my favourite cards has just come out. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> Not that you should have favourites, but you know. Guilty. Like that, thank you. Oh, I'm playing up. Mm. Okay, so sorry, my nose is very itchy. <laughs> All right. So my favorite one. Nine of discs gain. Having a look at that, seeing what comes through to you intuitively. I always say with these readings, like take what resonates, leave the rest and see what comes through for you as you look at this card. What, does, what are you getting from it as well? You know, then we've also got here the Princess of Swords. Again, just looking at that, seeing what comes through. And we've got two of discs change. Okay, so two discs here. So discs rules earth, the earth element. Um, so earth, I always feel like, you know, in the real world, things that are practical, tangible, money, finances, doing things in the earthly realms, you know, rather than being sort of in the ethers, <laughs> if you like. So there's a, going to be a bit of a focus on your material world this month. Um, we've also got here, this card often speaks to things being quite busy. So two of discs, juggling lots of tasks. So it could be that you're sort of doing, yeah, you're, there's quite a lot of action this month and change, okay? So things could be changing for you. We've got Jupiter, as you can see the Jupiter glyph there in Capricorn. So Jupiter, the planet of plenty, of abundance, of luck, of optimism, of just like lots of. And then Capricorn, which is like quite a hard working sign, like one of the hardest working signs of the Zodiac and is like like systems and structures. So it's like a need to get some structures in place to manage some of the busyness that you're going to be having for the month ahead. Um, we're also going to get here some mental clarity coming through and Honestly, like what I'm getting here, like when you look at the card, the artwork on the card is that she's sort of balancing on a, on a, not a rock exactly, but she's sort of placed quite carefully on, on a, I'll call it a rock. So I don't quite know <laughs> what it is. Um, and she's sort of, you know, she's, she's fighting, you know, um, and it's like to try and like cut away some noise. Like it feels like there's something here about um cutting through the noise and trying to see things more clearly there's going to be more clarity coming through for you this month and then this one which i love so much because um it's just so beautiful look at it i have this image on the back of my on my phone like in my you know when you look at your home screen this is the image because um, I'm always like trying to get this to seep into my subconscious mind because the artwork on it is very much like 
so I can get more gain. You know, it's more about abundance. I feel like this card is about abundance. So um, more abundance coming in. Also, sometimes this card speaks of needing to tap into the energy of abundance. So like if we want to have more abundance, then we need to be abundant we need to see the abundance that's already here we need to be grateful for what is already here we need to see all the good stuff that is here so that we attract more of it because if we're stuck in scarcity and lack then it's going to be hard to bring more in because we attract a like attracts like so it's about being in the energy of abundance so that you are a vibrational match for abundance that makes sense so yeah, I love this card because I think it's always a helpful reminder to be like, oh yeah, if I want more money, for example, and I say money because there's like coins on the card, um, then if I'm th focusing on how I I'm lacking on it or lacking of it, yeah, <laughs> um, lacking it, sorry, um, then it's going to be hard to attract from a place of scarcity. So it's about noticing like what is already here and like the little miracles that are already here. Like, oh, like I found, you know, some money in my pocket or that kind of thing. This came up for um, Scorpios as well. So just been talking about that. <laughs> um, okay, so looking at big breakthroughs for Sagittarius this month of May. Oh, there it is. Okay, have one more please. Oh my gosh. Sorry, like so many fell out. It's far too many. <laughs> so, one more card, please, for big breakthroughs. Maybe one of those will come back out. They're very jumpy. One more card, please, for big breakthroughs for Sagittarius. Ah, yes yeah makes sense okay it's this bot the card at the bottom of the deck that i've seen a few times now so maybe there's something there okay so first one that came out we have got prince of discs so uh it, it's going to be easier to be more grounded this month it's going to be easier to take practical action to yeah be more practical and be more sort of um, focused is what I'm getting because we've also got here a three of wands. So three of wands is like, it is sort of plans are going ahead. So you've made the plans and now things are, um, there's a steady established force of action. So with these together, it's gonna be easier to sort of, yeah, to take action on the things, but in a more grounded way, more sustainable fashion as opposed to like pure fire which can be very like yeah let's go but like burns out quite quickly so um yeah this is a really positive message i'm getting here like the big breakthrough is that things are going ahead and it's going to be easy to take grounded practical action on the plans that you have made and bring into fruition which is nice because sometimes it can you know you, you might want to sort of like move forward and things but then there's like loads of resistance like you know let's say there's you know mercury retrograde or like you know just it's hard to move forward but this is saying like no like actually it's going to be easier this month so that's a breakthrough so maybe it has been hard to do that and now you'll see things getting a bit smoother and easier in that front okay um something to look forward to right that came out <laughs> Night of Wands. So um, yeah, like taking action is going to be easy. Like with it being something to look forward to, it and it, it's Night of Wands here. Like, Night of Wands is like leading with passion. So it's going to again, it's sort of saying a very similar thing here of like it's going to be easier to lead with passion. And it's going to be easier, and something to look forward to is that you're going to feel more passionate in general. And more excited about things again like maybe you've not felt that excited so yeah because we've also got things are going to be busy but it's going to be like on things that you're passionate about 
and that's going to help you feel really abundant and things are going to be very clear moving forward as well it's going to be clear what you need to do oh this is nice yeah i love that okay so guidance to navigate ah, gosh navigate the month of may for sagittarius please how to navigate all right Ooh, interesting we've got the fall and the aeon honestly <laughs> it's so weird actually all i'm hearing is leap take the leap that card is literally of a man leaping the fool is someone who is suspended in air and he's just like yeah let's go for it so with it being guidance it's like taking a leap and then also the aeon is the judgment card it's <laughs> um <laughs> sorry so the aeon is the judgment card in traditional tarot so it's like similar like the the counterpart let's say um, and the Aeon often speaks of a decision needing to be made or a step, a, de a definitive step being taken. So step, leap, taking a step off into the unknown, step into the unknown. So there's something here about just like, go for it, really go for it. Yeah. Like just go for it. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So I'm going to pull some more Oracle cards for the month ahead, May for Sagittarius, please. Oh, that one pinged out my hand, take that. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> God, right. Okay, that one literally fell out. Oh, yeah. Nice card. Okay, have one more. One more, please. Hmm. Okay, so here we've got you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you, keepers of the earth. I often feel like this card is more about getting help around you. So people in your real world, I mean, it talks about ancestors as well, but um, having people in your real world, like helping you because you've got, you're going to be juggling a lot of things. So just making sure that you, and like, yeah, with a card of abundance as well, abundance meaning literally means a lot like um so to be abundant in something is to have a lot of something so yeah just making sure that you have some help this month and not sort of doing it alone um and getting the support that you need and maybe it is about calling upon like sort of spirit team as well and ancestral ancestor work ancestral work mm, that's interesting yeah maybe there's something for some of you about calling upon your ancestors to help you with this okay and then <laughs> i really like this one pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so it's just like yeah this you know we were talking about with this card like being the vibration of abundance seeing the abundance that's already here um, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. It's like, I think you're just going to feel really powerful this month and just feel like you're going to be able to see like how beautiful life really is. And it's like, that's such a nice, like, just like, ah, oh, like things are really pay paying off. And um, yeah, your vibration is rising. It's, and I feel, and people are going to feel that. There's going to be people that around you that are really feeling you like really transforming and coming into a new version of yourself this month. Nice. 
Um, and here we've got Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. Again, it's this Venus energy. So this is a Venus card. Um, creating beauty around you. And like, because again, like I think this is like what's really missed when it comes to manifestation is it's like there's Mars, which is like, go after it, do it, push forward. And then there's Venus that's like, create beauty around you, see the beauty that is already here. That's also how we can manifest. We don't have to always push. We can also attract, receive, magnetize. Um, so being in devotion to beauty and creating beauty around you is going to be a really good way of getting into that vibration that you need to be in to get the things that you want, if that makes sense. Yeah, I love that so much. Okay, so I think that's everything for Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching that. I hope that was helpful and insightful. And if you did like it, feel free to like and comment. I love knowing what's going on for you. And um, if you want more of this content going forward, just press and subscribe is the best way to get that. So thank you again for being here and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.